That's what is the best company in the world. Yes, I completely agree. Yeah, so it sounds like an amazing idea. Hey guys, welcome to the show today. We're checking out Sesame AI CSM conversational speech model. They just released it open source Apache 2 license, which means you can use it commercially. So I've got this bad boy running on my Mac. MacBook Pro, it's the M4 Max. It runs really, really fast. It runs actually faster than if you want to use their free text-to-speech generator. I guess their servers might be bombarded at the moment, but if you haven't heard Sesame AI, they do natural and expressive speech. It's all about emotional intelligence. So they're going to talk with a bit of personality and uh, that's going to be an interesting world for automatic video generation and uh, the world of scamming. That's very, very scary. Although they clearly state that they do not endorse it for scamming. It's against their terms, so don't use it for scamming. So key features, all that kind of good stuff. But I just want to show you the, the hilarious things I've been doing on the system. So I'm going to jump into my demonstration here. Actually, let me just jump on this guy. Yeah, so <laughs> I should show you the code. It's funny. I've been testing out this conversation where like a couple of people talk to each other. One guy saying how much he loves Tesla and a couple of people will chirp in. And let's just hear how it sounds because I think it's really good. Tesla is is the best company in the world. I can't wait to buy all of them. Look, this Tesla is is the best company in the world. I can't wait to buy all of them. Sounds like a real person. Tesla is the best. It's not like an AI voice. It's a real voice. Yes, I completely agree. They indeed are the best ever. Ever. They're the best ever. Thanks for agreeing with me. I really, really like people who agree. Thanks for agreeing. It's, it's really good. Mom, I like people who agree too. We should all meet in person. See, pie. Yes, that sounds like an amazing idea. I love meeting with strangers. It's hilarious. And all I've been doing is just, I feel in a text, look, Tesla is the best company in the world. I gave it a speaker zero, speaker one, speaker zero, speaker two. And you've got four, three different voices. They're just generated out of their database. They're one billion parameter database. And what you can also do is you can kind of clone your own voice and other people's voices, which is cray cray. So I've got test conversation here. I, I gotta say, I don't really understand their um, example sample code. So I'm gonna have to dig through the code to actually understand how it works because their sample code on their GitHub is very, very bare bones, but it was just released. So give them time to expand and improve. And it is Apache 2, so you can use it commercially. It's not like um, the XTTS, which can't be used commercially. That one was originally done by Mozilla and then it was taken on all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be voice cloning here. So I've got a French voice, my wife's voice and my voice. So I'll show you what my voices sound like. This is me. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are going to be doing this audio trans whatever it is. So that was actually me talking and I fed it into the system and this is what it's bang on. Buy a Tesla now, I completely endorse it. I am also voting for Elon Musk. So I sound kind of Italian, that's very very interesting but uh, it doesn't sound 100% like me but all I fed it was 10 seconds of audio and it generated that, which is really cool. Check out my wife's one. Hello, my name is Nora and I like to clean my house, take my rubbish out, do the lawn mowing and play with my children. So that's what she said to feed it in and this is what it came out with. Buy a Tesla now, I completely endorse it. I am also voting for Elon Musk. A little bit robotic, but it does sound kind of like her. And the final one, this is a French accent. My name is Lorraine and I like to go into the swimming pool every day. And this is what it came out with. Buy a Tesla now. I completely and we're going to complete the vision. You got a bit lost towards the end, but buy a Tesla. Buy a Tesla now. I completely. That was cool, wasn't it? And all I did there is I got the my transcripts of what I said. Boom. And I fed it in the wife files that actually say that things. I don't know if you need to feed in the transcript what you say or whatever it is, the sample code, I'll go for it when we go to install it together. I'll show you what it does. But all I did is fed in the WAF files and then we just generate the files. And this can also be optimized because in every single iteration here, we're actually reloading the model. But I'm going to run it for you live. I'll do the whole generation of this speech, the conversation that we had about endorsing Tesla, how Tesla is amazing. So let's get that going. I'll show you how fast it runs to generate one, two, three, four, five, five caught sentences in uh, real time. So I'm just going to save this one because this was such a great conversation because I sort of see if it changes and paste it in there. And then I'm just going to hit run. 
And this is the unoptimized version of Yingli. So I'll hit run there. It's going to go ahead and it's launching the Python. And it doesn't have the module name Triton. I found that you don't, don't need it. And um, the only thing that I had to avoid doing on my Mac because I couldn't get it working is the watermarking. So by default, they got a cool feature called a watermarker, which actually hides in a little bit of something something to let you know that it is an AI generated voice. And I had to disable that because it requires float 64 and metal. It doesn't support 64 bit floats. It can only support 32 bit. And I tried converting it, but I just didn't want to, it was, it was, I'll, I'll eventually get it running, but it wasn't working out of the box and the running on CPU would be slower. So I didn't want to use the optimized metal performance shaders. So it's already started generating the two voices right there. And just my little speech very, very fast. So Tesla is the best company in the world. I can't wait to buy all of them. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree. They indeed are the best ever. So it's a slightly different tweak version of the voice. I guess you can play with the parameters, the temperature, the RAND, the seed, all that kind of stuff to make it more permanent. Thanks for agreeing with me. I really, really like people who agree. So it's making this all live. It's running all this. And we've just got one more voice, two more voices to generate. It's almost done. It's just saying attributes about to spit out the result. And boom. But now, I like people who agree too. We should all lean in person. And the four, final voice, I guess it takes around 20 seconds to make these little segments. And that's also including loading the models. We're loading two models. We're loading the 1 billion parameter Llama model by Facebook and the 1 billion parameter Sesame AI model. So, and it's all done. Yes, that sounds like an amazing idea. I love meeting with strangers. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. So now that we know that it is really cool, you guys want to run it on your systems. So if you've got a Windows systems or that kind of stuff, I guess it will be super easy. You just pull it and get it going. But since we're on Mac, we're going to have to do a little bit of code changes and I'll show you exactly what I did to get it running. So the first thing you do is let's go on Sesame AI's Git. GitHub, there is that one there, conversational speech generation. So you want to click on that and get this link, which will be the same link at the top there. And then we're going to jump into terminal and do some kind of cool stuff. So I'm going to CD out of this one and I'm just going to make a new directory called temp, CD temp. So this is a blank folder. And if you don't have Git, you've got to type in brew install Git and that will install Git. And that's the package manager that will download it all. And if you don't have brew, then you want to go on the internet and just say brew install. And the first link will, will tell you just paste that into terminal that code there. So you paste that into terminal, you run that, that will install brew, which is the package manager, and that will allow you to install Git really easily and Git will allow you to pull their project. So you've got to type in Git clone, and that will clone CSM. So you enter CSM by entering CD, hit space. And now we've got the Python files and it's got something called requirements. Requirements is all the packages we're going to need inside the situation. So you need to torch, torch audio, tokenizers, transformers, hugging face hub, Moshi, um, torch tune, torch AO. And there's also a couple of ones that aren't actually mentioned in the requirements. So when you do run it, it's going to come up with a couple of errors and you'll just have to pip install those. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a Python environment. So Python hyphen M means make VM, VM for when we're making a virtual environment and we're going to call it the folder dot B E M V and that will make a folder in there called dot V E M V. And then we're going to activate it. You just type in source, the folder forward slash bin forward slash activate. And you'll see that we've now changed and it now says that we've got VM. So we've activated our virtual environment. So that means anything that we install now is going to be on system. So we'll type in pip install hyphen R then requirements. And that will go ahead and download all of the packages inside the requirements of TXT file, torch, torch, audio, all that stuff. So we're going to run that. It's going to go ahead and start cloning it. Now that we have it all downloaded, we're going to go back into their project and let's pick up their sample code. So they've got a bit of sample code here to generate a sentence. And this one's going to generate a sentence just saying hello from Sess and me. So we'll go back into terminal. Let's type vi and say hello.py. That will create a file. That's empty. We'll paste that in there. Command V, press escape, then colon WQ. And that'll save out the file. So if we do cat hello.py, we're going to see that it's got that bit of code that we came out. And that is really cool. 
it looks like they've actually updated the source code and it says torch backend.mps is available, use device MPS. So when I used it originally two days ago, it, um, it never had support for metal, but now it does just out of the box. So we're going to just try it running it. Now you will need a hugging face account because it's going to go ahead and try downloading Sesame's 1 billion parameter model. And inside it's also going to download Meta's Llama situation. So I'll show you hugging face. So hugging face is like the number one repository for AI models. If you go to hugging face, they're like a really valuable company. When I first saw the name Hugging Face, I figured it must have been a scam where they're actually a huge, huge company. So let's just open up an incognito. And it's the building the AI community of the future. So you need to sign up for an account on them. And you're going to have to also go into Meta. It will tell you this all. You have to go into Meta here and you'll need to request access from Meta Llama. And they take around up to an hour to approve you. So try to put in your realistic information. Like don't use a temp email to sign up to this service because they'll probably reject you. But if you use like a genuine email, they'll probably accept you. So that is that you have to accept that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in terminal here and let's just try running. I'm going to type in Python hello.py and see what it does. Okay. We've got an error here and it says that it's trying to download something from hugging face. What I'll do is I'll turn off my firewall just temporarily just to see if I maybe have that service blocked. It's downloading it now. So it should work for you. If you don't have um, the internet, that's the kind of crazy error you'll see. But if you do have the internet, it's going to go ahead and start downloading it. You might need to log into hugging face for it to work. It says you need access to these following two repos. So you need to go to these websites and request access. And it also says these instructions. So you need to type in hugging face CLI login and enter your login details. I think with hugging face also, you need to generate a key. So you don't use your password to log in. You go into settings, keys, generate a key, and you use that token to log in. But I guess I'll need to format my drive to get this started from scratch. But generally, if you just follow those steps, you'll download the models and hopefully also download Meta's model as well. And now we've got another error. It says no module found called bits and bytes. So you need to type in pip install bits and bytes. I guess they should have added it to the requirements, but now that it's installed, when we now run it, it should work. Ah, okay, look, so there's the error. Cannot convert MPS tensor to float 64 as um, MPS doesn't support float 64. So to fix that, we need to go inside watermarking.py and this is the function watermark here and that's what applies the watermarking situation so people know or the computer knows that it's an AI generated voice I guess you can probably tell because it's not like a real, real sounding voice but it's going to improve in the future so to get around this you just put a hash in front of encode it because we don't need to encode it and rather than using encoded to come up with the resample you just use the audio array 44 kilohertz I guess you can completely skip out this function in general because all of it's doing is converting it into a different and then reconverting it back. But let's just get it running as is. So all I've done is just skip that function that requires the float 64, which breaks it on MPS. And now not only will it run faster because it doesn't need to do that step, it should just work. And it's come up with this. It looks like it's failed because it says none type object has no attributes. So you think it's completely broken, but if you do an LS, you should see an audio.wav that's generated audio.wav. So I'm going to go into the finder here. Hello from Sesame. There you go. We've generated a file runs on the Mac just there. You just, unfortunately, the watermarking feature doesn't work and yeah, have fun, have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. Cause this is going to be hilarious next year. All this kind of like, it's going to be good for audio books. It's going to be good for applications. For example, I've got a application here called diagnosis pad. It's kind of like an AI doctor. So you can like talk to it as a doctor and uh, it will record your conversations and it will give you like a diagnosis and generate notes for you. And the good thing about it is it runs completely offline and on your device. So nothing's being uploaded to the cloud. It's not kind of dodgy situation. So it could be used by doctors to help improve their guidance. So what in the future we could also do, perhaps we can integrate this to run. It's only a 1 billion parameter model. So perhaps we can run it on one of these iPads or iPhones 
and have it actually talk back to you in a natural way. Maybe you can just kind of like give this for um, when for, for triage. So you give this to a patient, patient talks to it, tells them their symptoms, and then it automatically book in the correct slot appointment for you. And it'll tell the doctor if it thinks that the diagnosis could be this, and it'll give you more time to investigate. So that's pretty cool. All these kind of cool applications you can do with this situation, make it more natural, less unnatural, and um, offline. It could run offline because it's a small model. It's not like um, the services that you get default where it has to always upload your voice to the cloud and then re-download the, the private stuff. So that is awesome. So let us know what you are going to be doing with Sesame AI's conversational speech model. I think they're doing great. Thanks for the open source situation, but also give them a shout out because what is their business model is that they have the base model that they provided for open source educational research purposes under Apache 2, so you can also use it commercially. But if you want the super awesome stuff that they have, then uh, you can use their API and give them money to do some cool stuff. And if you just want to play around, they also have a free text to speech. So if you ever just want to generate some speech. Hello, how are you? Sounds a bit robotic, but if you want to generate some speech, check out their website, ai-sesame.com. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Tesla is, is the best company in the world. Yes, I completely agree. Yes, that sounds like an amazing idea.